Joe Sexton here, Fat Loss Master Chef. So we're back with another healthy recipe. As always, we make food taste good, we stay on the wagon longer, we eat healthy, we don't crave all that bad food, and we melt body fat and feel better. We've got to start looking at the more our body craves nutrients, the more hungry we're going to get. So if we get the right proteins, we get the right nutrients in, we find that we we'll never get hungry, we we'll never crave food, and we we'll stay on the wagon, and we we'll get big results. So today we're going to be making... As always, one of my favorites is gonna be Mexican chicken with spicy rice. One of the things where the more spices we put into things, the better it tastes. I like spicy food as well, so if you're not a spicy food fan, chances are you might not like this, because it is fairly spicy. We can tinker around with them spices a little bit to make it a little bit more mild for you massive wimps who don't like spicy food. So we're gonna start by prepping the uh, vegetables. We've got a uh, red pepper, we've got a medium-sized onion, and we've got three cloves of garlic. With the pepper, I'm just gonna take the top off, and I find that I just cut round, round the, the thing in the middle, the core in the middle, and just throw that away. So I'm gonna do, nice and quick, strips of pepper. Should all be round about the same size. This bit's nice and easy. Right, so that's the pepper done. Now it's time for the onion. Remember the cutting skills those things, if cutting, cutting skills and things will come with, with practice. So the more you cook, the better you're gonna get at it. So we're gonna top until the onion. Then we're gonna half it. You'll find that half of the skin, half of it comes off already, and we'll just peel the rest off. We're gonna finely dice these, and we're gonna finely dice the onion, uh, the garlic as well. So we've got three cloves of garlic. Once we do all this, we're gonna chop the chicken up, we're gonna fry the chicken off, throw these in with the chicken, and then we're gonna throw the spices which I go through then. So again, these, so what I'm gonna do is you're gonna chop it with ways, and then chop it lengthways. One tiny, tiny little bit. With other recipes, I think with the, uh, the frittata, we find that we wanted big bits of onion, with these we just want small bits, so what you do is you get them again, and we'll just, Really finely dice these. I want to be as small as possible. As always, don't chop your finger off, guys. Today we're all going to be having rice, and carbs are best suited post-workout. So that means our body handles carbs best after we've done exercise. What happens is our glycogen stores get depleted. So when we do have carbs, our body uses and utilizes them a lot better. So I find that I don't get my clients or myself. I don't have carbs. If I haven't earned them, if I haven't exercised, I don't have them. So, what I want you doing today is I'm going to add a small workout. So we can either have the chicken with salad, or we can have it with the spicy rice like the recipe says. But you've got to do the workout that I'm going to put. I'm going to go through a small warm up and a tiny workout, and that means you're going to earn your carbs. My eyes are running. If it looks like I'm crying, it's because I am, the, the onions are pretty strong. So these are nearly done. Again, just finely chop these. This is the messy, this is the boring part, this is the bit we don't want to do, the prep. The cooking part is the fun part. It's the bit where we're constantly doing different stuff. The prep always takes the most time and it's always the most boring part. Right, so that's the peppers and the onions done. Now it's time for the garlic. So we're going to top until the garlic. I find things like onions and garlic and things like that always add flavor to dishes. So it doesn't matter what dish we're doing, we're going to find that we're always going to throw a lot of garlic in, throw things like onions in, because they are the quite strong flavors, and it makes boring, bland, tasteless food taste good. The better that food tastes, the faster we're going to get some big results. If you've been on my Facebook page, guys, you'll be able to see that some of my clients do get massive results because they do follow they follow recipes like this. They don't make excuses. 
in the fine that before the note they've got the results that they've always wanted. Anyone can get them, we've just got to stop making excuses. So we're taking the skins off, we're peeling the garlic, one more, and then we're going to finely dice them as well. Again, take the top and tail off these. The finally just makes it a little bit easier to take the skin off. If it gets stuck, you've got a sharp knife to help you as well. Right, so with the garlic, we've done before. What you're going to do is get a knife, you're going to press it down. And then you're going to, as finely as you can, chop these. We don't want big bits of garlic in. So as finely as you can, we're going to chop these. So it takes a couple of goes to go through the garlic, getting the big bits. This is all going into one pan together. So that's the garlic done. Right, so now that the veg prepped, now it's time for the chicken. So I'm going to use a separate chopper board and a separate knife because we don't want to be handling raw meat and raw vegetables at the same time. So with the chicken, we've always got this little bit of fat at the end. It's not bad because fat's not fat, but it just doesn't taste good. So you want to be taking that bit off. You find that we've always got that nasty bit of chicken that we don't want. We're going to cut these into strips. So again, you want to get a sharp knife and you will cut, cut these into thin strips. You want every, si every bit of chicken to be round about the same size. You don't want a lot bigger and thicker than the other because they'll cook a little bit differently. Remember, these are getting fried off. So we want them fairly thin. We do this with a sharp knife, it's so much easier. If you find that you're struggling, it just means that your knife's not sharp enough. So once we dice these, we're gonna get some fry, uh, coconut oil in a pan, we're gonna fry them off. And then we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. And then we've got spicy rice we're throwing at the end. And then we're done. Right, so as you can see, chicken's round about that size. And what happens is, it means that all the chicken's round about that size, it all cooks evenly, it all cooks at the same time. Veg done, chicken done, it's time to wash my hands, throw everything in the pan and we'll get eaten. Right, it's time to cook. I'm melting some coconut oil down in the pan. Once that's melted down, it's time to throw the chicken in. We're gonna brown the chicken off. And once that chicken's basically cooked, we're gonna throw the garlic, the onions, the peppers in, Fry them off for another minute or so, and then we're going to throw the tomato puree. We've got smoked paprika, cumin, and some chili powder as well. We're going to finish it with some lemon juice, and we're going to basically stir fry that for the next five or ten minutes after that. Set that to one side. I've got some long green rice already cooked up. What we're going to do with that is we're going to throw that in a separate pan. We're going to throw some chili powder, and we're going to throw a little bit of tomato puree and some lemon juice, and a little bit of Tabasco sauce, and we've got some spicy rice. So this pan's looking ready, it's time to throw the chicken in. Right, so it's chicken time. What we're going to do is we're going to place the chicken in the pan. We've already melted some coconut oil down. So that should start to brown off straight away. Throw that to one side. So the pan's on a medium heat. And this should take around about 8 to 10 minutes. Once both sides are browned off and starting to kind of look not rare anymore that's when we're going to put the onions that's when we're going to throw the garlic and the peppers in and then the rest of the seasoning to make it taste taste amazing right so the chicken's just starting to brown off it's still fairly pale it's not pink anymore on either side and it's just starting to brown off now it's time to add some flavor out of it. So we're going to throw some garlic, we're going to throw some onions, we're going to throw some peppers in as well. I am going to turn it down a little bit because you don't want the garlic burning. It changes the taste and it's not very nice. So all this goes into this pan. This way it gets messy. I missed the pan with half the ingredients as well. Throw that one in. And again, we'll just mix all these up. Especially with that garlic, it just adds a lot more flavour to the dish. Garlic makes everything taste good. Sadly, it makes us, our breath stink at the end of the meal. 
So another three or four minutes until the onions are browned, until the peppers are browned a little bit, and the chicken's cooked, and then we'll start adding the spices. Right, so the chicken, the peppers, the garlic, and the onions are starting to cook, it's just starting to brown off. So now it's time to fill in the rest of the ingredients. So I've got some tomato puree. We're gonna go around about two tablespoons of tomato puree in. We don't want too much. We're gonna go around about two tablespoons. That's around about two tablespoons. The thing that we're gonna get the flavor from is smoked paprika. I'm a big fan now of smoked paprika. I think normal paprika tastes okay, but this has got a lot more flavor. So we're gonna go around about four or five tablespoons of smoked paprika. It's gonna give it that taste. Then I'm going to throw around about one tablespoon of cumin in. And we're going to throw a little bit of mild chili powder in. If you want to spicy, I just go normal hot chili powder. What we're going to do now is mix this all together. You find that the whole dish will take a complete different color. Then spices start to infuse, they start to cook through, and you find that you start to the smells start getting a lot better as well. As always, the more flavor, the more spices, the more we add to the dish, the better it's gonna taste. Make that taste good, we'll melt body fat. It's literally that simple. The clients who get the best, make the best food and the, get the food that tastes the nicest, they're the ones who normally lose the most weight and get the biggest results. Right, so the chicken's done, now it's time for the rice. We're gonna put the rice in a hot pan with a lot of coconut oil in. And you'll find that'll start to cook off straight away. So with the coconut oil, you'll find that the rice will start to soak up a lot of the coconut oil, and it gives it a lot of that flavor as well. So this is only gonna be quick, it'll only take about three or four minutes to quickly stir fry it. So as that, rice gets that little bit softer, remember it's already cooked. I'm gonna start throwing the rest of the ingredients in. We're gonna throw a tiny little bit of paprika and we don't want to taste it nowhere near as strong as the chicken. You want a tiny little bit of that smoked paprika, so around about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. We do want a little bit more chili though. So we're gonna go two te uh, teaspoons of mild chili powder. And we're going to throw a little bit tomorrow puree in as well. Round about one teaspoon. Secret weapons Tabasco sauce. We're going to throw a couple of dashes of Tabasco sauce in. And then we're going to let that fry up for another two or three minutes. You find that once all the spices start to cook off, again right now it smells amazing. That Tabasco sauce instantly comes out with that smell. Then we're just gonna fry this up. Right, so the rice is done, the chicken's done. It's time to plate it up and eat. Right, so I said before, if we're gonna have carbs and we're gonna have rice with this uh, with this meal instead of like a salad, we've got to earn them. Our body only handles carbs really. If we've exercised, if we've depleted them glycogen stores, so we've got to earn them. Sadly, it means getting sweaty, it means getting ugly and working out. It's only gonna be short, it's gonna last eight minutes. You're gonna go 30 seconds exercise, 30 seconds rest, of one exercise and it's gonna be a squat. We're gonna take a, a first round, which is gonna be the ninth round, nice and easy. We're gonna bring our feet round about hip width apart. We're gonna drop our hips and bump down, make sure the knees aren't coming in front of the feet and back up. I advise not to do this in the kitchen because chances are get some, somewhere else with the space because chances are you knock the pan, burning hot, rice hits you in the face, 
and then it's not gonna be, you're not gonna be melting much body fat from hospital. So don't do this in the kitchen, don't be stupid like me. So your feet around your hip with a pot, drop your hips and bum down, make sure your knees aren't coming in front of your feet, keep that back straight, so sit down as low as you can, and then back up. First round's nice and easy. The next eight aren't though, so we're gonna hit 30 seconds exercise, 30 seconds rest, the eight round, as fast as we can, hitting these squats out. You should be getting to the end of every 30 seconds round with them legs feeling like jelly. I tell all my clients that if we want to look good, we've got to get ugly first. So we should be making stupid faces, we should be grunting, we should be growling, and we should be making the most stupid exercise noises in the world. If we're not working that hard, we'll not be making them noises or making them faces. So guys, get ugly. 30 seconds exercise, 30 seconds rest of squats. One warm-up round, eight working rounds. Good luck and enjoy them carbs. Right. It's ready. So we've got Mexican chicken, we've got spicy rice, and I've threw a side salad on there as well. Find the more greens that we eat, the more nutritionally dense that food is. The more nutritionally dense our body gets, the, the less we crave bad food. Our body craves nutrients and not food itself. Tastes amazing, we've just earned them carbs. If we didn't have carbs, we'd have more salad and more the actual chicken itself. Uh, and like I said before, the recipe is gonna be underneath this video. So if you find that you wanna watch, you've, you've seen the video, but you need the recipe, it's underneath. And so is the link to my Facebook page, Joe Sexton Fat Loss. So go on that page, like it, you get stacks of hints, tips, videos about recipes and workouts. Uh, and that's about it. So guys, make that food taste good, make it interesting, make it exciting, and we'll melt body fat. So I'll see you soon.